To like or not to like? That is the question of today. Instagram and Facebook are currently considering removing the number of likes from their platforms to improve the health of billions of users worldwide. And in this video, I want to provide some suggestions to Instagram and also to you, my friends and fellow users of social media. First, from an all-out perspective, if I were to remove the number of likes, then I would also remove all metrics, such as the number of views, the number of followers, and so forth. Because with just the likes removed, there would be other metrics that users would start to chase and compete and continue to consider their worth to depend on the number of likes or number of followers that they have or friends that they have on social media. So remove all metrics altogether. Number two, compromise by following the LinkedIn example and offer the number of likes as subscription-based only access in such a way that users would have to pay a subscription in order to get access to that data and that information, like the number of likes, number of followers, number of impressions. That would allow many businesses who are serious about metrics and analytics and growth to invest in that capability that you would have and also may increase your revenues as well. And number three, and most importantly, in my mind, invest more staff and more resources into not just moderating the comments that are reported, but following up on them by blocking users who post abusive, derogatory, racist, and inflammatory comments and messages and posts and bully other users. It's a very important tactic in order to improve the health of our society, to not just report, but also to follow up and block and prevent such activity. Now, what are some of my suggestions to Instagram? Create more contests or incentives for your users to like each other's posts and content more. Make it a hallmark tradition to like each other's posts on your platform. Remember, the hallmark greeting cards are one of the most positive associations that we have around holidays that help us celebrate each other, express our sympathy, our empathy, lift each other up, recognize each other, for our accomplishments and so forth. So rather than making a social media competition, make it, make it a hallmark tradition. Create contests for your users or different types of incentives in a creative way. Now, what are some of my suggestions to all of you, my friends and fellow users of Instagram and other social media? It's very simple like more content, like more posts, regardless of who they are from. Do you notice that there are fewer number of likes and engagements with posts and content on LinkedIn than there are on Facebook and Instagram? Yes, it's increasing, but LinkedIn, which is used by 700 million users worldwide, symbolizes our professional world. And our professional world is quite competitive across different industries. In fact, it's becoming brutal. And that is an unmet need in terms of the health of the society and the health of the professional world. So, even if you may not agree with someone, you may have a competitor or a colleague that you don't agree with, if you naturally feel 
genuinely that the post is healthy and is beneficial to your society as a whole, don't troll, but like. Like that post, like that comment. Let them know about it. Remember to separate the message from the author when you criticize or when you don't have a good relationship with the author. It's very important to do that for the health of our society, for the health of our companies in which we work. Because colleagues often like each other's comment, but they don't take the time to like it because of different perception issues or different kind of political or policy related issues on LinkedIn. Instead, be more generous with your colleagues, with your friends, with your social media connections and like more content from each other. Instagram is your diary. It's your legacy. It's, a, it's an Olympics competition across many disciplines. And it's a book that you continue reading as well. Social media is a classroom and a playground at the same time, where war has no place. Remember to embrace the chance social media gives you to stretch yourself and lift others. And learn how to use it in the right way so well that you can win by helping others win with the value and the education that you create for others. That's my message in response to the question to like or not to like on social media. Let me know what you think.